top of the morning to you. Yesterday I posted a little clip, a little minute and a half clip uh, video of the making of this little box over the past uh, few days, summer, unplugged summer 2019. Nice to be here on YouTube and um, glad you like this little project. Here's a longer 10 minute edit of this footage. I found, not found, in my wood pile for the past 13 years or so, this offcut of butternut has been sitting and drying. Very well seasoned. It's quite flat. Just under six inches wide. Like just under five and five eighths. And 22 and three quarters. So this little gem I made in Waterbox, summer 2010. And since that summer, I literally throw my water stones, my diamond stones, some sharpening supplies. They all go in this little box year after year. Since that time, they travel with me. It's my sharpening kit. This construction style, through dovetails, a bit of marine plywood on the bottom in my case, that was glued and tacked into place. An end grain rabbited lid that fits between. The sides come up higher than the end gables. It's just a good fit. The rabbits keep everything solid. Dovetailed construction. This is the inspiration for our next project. So what are we hoping to get? That's the first decision we have to make. If grain direction is not a concern, I see a split right here. So there's invariably some things about this board that may or may not be desirable. So let's consider this. This is the style of the box we're gonna make. So that is a given. What's next to think about is I guess just the overall dimensions we can get. If I'm resawing, then it's going to go a lot further. So let's assume we're just going to leave it full height for now. What can we get? Probably a side. Maybe. Actually, let's put that away. And just kind of go. If we got a side here, and then an end, is that a waste? That's my split to there. So come back this way. We get an end and a side. To get a lid plus a side, that means the overall. Actually, I could book match the off cut. So there's my two sides, regardless of the length. My lid hmm. it's a pretty wide piece of. Uh, it's like maple, it's pretty flat. Hey, UW Toronto. Well, there's some notes on here. Curving plane. That's beauty. Not that one. Ooh, I see some of the spalted beach wood. Holy jumpins. Remember that? What do we use that for? The cabinet doors on the other little cherry shop cabinet. That's exciting. So this is what we have. Seasoned, beautiful butternut. Some flat, seasoned, very spalted. Maybe that can be our lid.
is a good thing. The spalted peach and our resawn butternut. butternut box. Dovetails. I call loop four. Nothing uh, scary going on there. Maybe a little gap on that one, but that's okay. That'll do. fit.
to this. We'll get glued in like that. I'll take some shavings off of that, a little, a little wobbly. And then the spalted beach, two cross cuts to start. And we'll see where we get. So, cross cut, fit, <clears throat> cut some rabbits. We'll shape this, round these over to match this, or to meet that. It's good stuff. Freshly sharpened blade, the batten installed, because this is nasty, nasty, nasty to plane. I may end up changing my mind about this piece of spalted beach if it's, if it's completely out of the question, knowing when to to choose another piece of wood is something that you'll learn in cabinet making and it's one of those lessons that I can say it all day choose your wood wisely but until you do and you start doing that that's a valuable lesson you'll learn when you're working with wood all the time so let's see if we're gonna fight through this stuff it up and then I want to bevel it into the sides um, so I think maybe we'll do that in the next episode keep the episode short because the upload speed is still maybe I'm slow around here And without sounding too pitchy, hope you liked it. Um, and if you want to see about three running hours of that project, check it out at an Unplug Life on the Unplug Woodshop website. Make every day a masterpiece.